Next example, this one's a word problem. So here we're given a bag of cough drops with lemon, orange, and grapefruit flavored drops. So let's maybe make variables out of those. So lemon, orange, and grapefruit. And Lily buys a bag that has 10 grapefruit. So grapefruit equals 10 and 14 orange. So orange equals 14. What fraction of the bag is lemon if there are one half as many lemon drops as orange drops? So here I wanna know the fraction of the total. That's what I'm looking for. So fraction of the bag that's lemon. And I know that there are one half as many lemon drops as orange drops. So if orange is 14, then there should be half as many that are lemon. So seven, because 14 times one half is gonna give me 14 over two. And I can take the two out of both and end up with seven over one. So that's how many lemon I have. And now I wanna know the fraction of the total bag. So the fraction is just the part over the whole. So seven over how many total drops I have. So this is really like lemon total or something. It's, I'm not actually looking for this number that's seven, but my total number of drops is just gonna be the sum of all of this. So. 4 plus 7 is going to give me 11, and then I'm just going to end up with 31 as my total. So my fraction is then going to be 7 over 31. And 7 here is already a prime number, so I know that I can't actually simplify this any further. And this will be my final answer. That's it on fractions. Thanks again for turning, tuning into educator.com.